start with the name of Allah who is the most merciful and grateful. Dear students of class 6, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome you in virtual learning system of Pakistan International School, Thai. Dear students, today we have a lecture number 15, and unit 8, part 2. Yesterday we completed the unit 8's half part and uh, means comprehension and vocabulary. And today we will complete the uh, oral exercises and written exercises and useful words and phrases. So today we have uh, lecture number 15 and the lesson is uh, good manners as we uh, completed it yesterday. So book is guided English book, introductory book, dear students. And we will learn today the page number 55, 56 and 50. Seven, here is your teacher, Sir Faz Nadi. So let's start, dear students, uh, today's uh, uh, lecture. We have on page number 55, please open your book, and page number 55. Uh, dear students, if you remember, and if you will recall your memory, it's not uh, an old one, you know. It's uh, yesterday as we discussed about the uh, page number half of page 55 you discussed not half but completely i gave you the homework i told you to do this homework look up these words in your dictionary okay courtesy and <clears throat> a custom cue these words and then exercise tv completed and then we discussed about the table one that i told you in table one it is the uh, it is told over here the simple sentence in table two it, these are the interrogative sentence Okay, so now uh, this is all about the oral exercises. Have a look on page number 56. What is about the page 56? On page number 56, dear students, we have written exercises. What we have written, again, we will learn, we have a table three, like he does not play tennis. Now what is in table one, we had, we have present uh, simple tenses, sentences. And then in table two, we have a, Interrogative sentence means question. And here in table three, we have negative sentence, like he does not play tennis. John does not write poetry. Or you can say she does not swim in the sea. Or you can say they do not, they do not tell lies. Uh, the two girls do not walk to school. Uh, the others do not ride a bicycle. So here, dear students, what is uh, different over here? You can see the he, she, it, carry, does. And while uh, they, uh, you, I, contain, do. If we have I, we, you, they, you have to put the verb do over here. If you if we have he, she, it, name, subject, people, does. What is the example? Does your father ever do your homework? What will be the answer? Yes, he always does my homework. Uh, no, he does not do my homework. Because if your father is helping you in your homework, answer is yes, he always does my homework. But he he does not then this. Definitely you will say no, he does not do my homework. So dear students, we have exercise A, write in the correct form of the verb in brackets. Now here, dear students, the form is given. Now what we have to do, we have to put the correct form of the verb. Is, as I told you that he never, so what will be here, the verb, because with the third person singular, we add S or ES, but if we don't have the third person singular, then we will not put S or ES with the verb. So uh, uh, definitely we will do over here, dear student, the homework on, we have a page number 56. Number one, he never did. So what will be here, dear students, he never, he never dares to see us nowadays. Now, come is verb and it is in bracket. Come. So, uh, what will be the correct verb over here? Yes. Come. Comes. He never comes to see. Why comes? Because we have he. As I told you, he, she, it, or name, these are the third person singular. So, whenever we have present simple tense, we put SES with the present simple tense but it is past tense, future tense. We will not put SES over here with the verb. Or if this is I, we, for example, I never come to see, yeah, for example, they never come to see us nowadays, we will put they, but we will not 
put S E S with the verb. Number two, I always dash my teeth twice a day. I always. So what will be here, dear students? Clean. Now many students will ask me, sir, why not cleans? Because we put over here comes. So as I told you, dear, we have I. I, we, you, they, we will not put S E S. But if we have he, she, it name subject, we will put S E S over here. Number three, the train often late. Now we have word arrive. So what will be here? Arrives. Okay. Number four, she usually dash shopping with her mother on Saturdays. So go is over here. She usually goes. Very good. Number five, they sometimes as playing. Now the watch is in bracket. They sometimes, what will be here? They watch, W A T. They sometimes watch us playing. Number six, that team never dash. So what will be that team never loses? Because we have a team and it's a third person, so a singular. The team never loses. It's a, uh, you know, what, what I told in the noun. It is a collective noun, the team. Number seven, I generally dash there once a week. Now, go is in bracket. I generally, what will be here? Go, because I is over there. If there's she, you can say she generally goes. But we have I, so we will put uh, first form, but not we will add the S E S over here. Number eight, you hardly ever for us these days. Now, wait is in bracket. You hardly ever. Wait, same. Number nine, he dash there anymore and not live is over here. He does not live. Why, dear students? Because we have a negative sentence, not live. So when we will change the present simple tense sentence into the negative, we will put does. Why does? Because we have a he. When we have a subject, he, she, it, or any name, we will add does. If we have a subject like I, we, you, they, we will put do. Our plural do singular does. Now look, the main, M-E-N is over here, dear students. Listen very carefully, watch very carefully, please. The main, M-E-N, it's a plural, not singular, because singular man spelling is M-A-N, but it's a plural. So with the main dash for him any longer, now, not work is it's also negative. So we will say, do not work. The man do not work for him any longer because the plural and do. Now we dash football all the year, not plays over here, dear students. Same because we is over given. So we do not play. We do not play football all the year. Number 12, sometimes she to me for days. Now not speak is given over here. Yes, does not speak. Does not speak to me for days. Number 13, you dash me as much as you used to. Now, not help is given over here. You, yes, do not help. Yes, you do not help me as much as you used to. Means first you were very uh, usual to help me, but now you are no more. Number 14, she never dash the library. Now, visit is in bracket. She never visits. She never visits the library. Okay. And number 15, she dash at home every evening. Not stay. So she does not. Good. Does not stay at home every evening. So here, dear students, 15 sentences given and we put the correct form of the verb according to the sentence. Now we have exercise B. What is exercise B, dear students? Write these sentences as questions. Now here in exercise A, the sentences were simple, not negative and not interrogative. But here what we have to as question means interrogative. Simple sentences are given and we have to change them into the Question or interrogate. The first one has been done for you. For example, number one, she sometimes tells me a story. 
she sometimes tells me a story now as i told you that these are the present simple tense and for present simple tense if you want to change the sentence into the negative or interrogative you have to put the do or does because do and does are the helping verbs of the present simple tense okay so look over here she sometimes tells me a story does she tell you a story does she tell you a story here then number 2 they often come to see me they often come to see me so here what will be because it is they so for they we use do okay do they yes do they come to see me come to see me question mark is given do they come to see me number 3 he explains very clearly he explains very clearly so what we will say does he explain clearly or you can say how does he explain but according this it is correct does does he explains yes clearly question mark will be given dear students does he explain sorry not explains but explain because when we are going to change the sentence into interrogative we will remove s e s which is given in the verb like he explains is given over here in the present uh, in a simple sentence so when we will change the sentence into interrogative or question we will remove s look does he explain clearly number 4 my brother lives in islamabad my brother lives in islamabad so what we will say where does your brother live where does your brother where does your brother live this is question mark is given where does your brother live number 5 my sister sits near the window my sister sits near the window where does your sister sit yes where does your sister yes sit okay good number 6 many people like listening to music many people like listening to music now what we'll say yes dear students do yes do people good like listening do people like listening to music this is at the last question mark do people like listening music number 7 i sometimes read a book in the evenings i sometimes read a book in the evenings so what will be here dear students of this uh, we have number 7 yes do you read a book in the evenings or what do you do in the evenings so both can be answers for example do you yes do you read a book yes do you read a book in the in the evenings yes in the evenings so here will be question mark will be given dear student at the last okay number 8 my father works in an office my father works in an office so this is number 8 where does your father work yes where does your father work question mark where does your father work number 9 the teacher gives us badminton lessons the teacher gives us badminton lessons yes who gives you badminton lessons yes who very good gives you okay badminton yes badminton lessons so this is question mark in the last who gives you badminton lessons number last number 10 dear students the workman go home at 6 o'clock the workman go now here workman not a singular It is M E N. If there is a, a single man, the workman you will write write M A N. The workman goes home. 
but if we have a plural not singular then we will put go not ses without ses the workmen go home at six o'clock so what you will write at what time do the at what time do the work men go home go home so here you can see dear students it is uh, changed into uh, questions like the workmen go home at six o'clock at what time do the workmen go home now dear students we completed the exercise b over here a is also done and b is also done now we will move towards the exercise c what is here let's uh, read the question aid the right forms of the verbs given now how, what we have to do we have to put the right form like uh, the first one has been done for you the one first one is done for you she usually sits at the back but today she is sitting in the front now she usually sits at the back but today she is sitting in the front now sit is a verb is in given brackets both here the first now verb is sit is used here we use sits why because it's a present simple tense the word usually given because in present simple we use these words always often usually always okay never so when we have a present simple tense and singular subject we will put uh, ses with the verb like sits and today she is sitting is means continuous now she is sitting right now uh, is and sitting i in the form of verb is given over here okay so number we will start from number two okay so what is the number two sentence dear students yes he yes he always dash in the library in the afternoon and we dash there now now work okay the work is given over here so what will be answer yes here what will she we always now we always means we is uh, plural not singular so we will add over here work we always work in the uh, library in the afternoon and we dash there now now we are we are working yes we are working yes we are working there now means still they are working over there so dear students here we have uh, do uh, this is page number 56 and uh, let's move to page number 57 yes dear students we are here on page number 57 and uh, on page number 57 we have remaining portion of the exercise uh, exercise number 13 uh, yes sorry exercise uh, we have c we are continue sentence number three Sentence number three is what, dear students? I always, yes, I always dash books about pirates and I dash the one I am reading now. Now, I always, what will be here, dear students? I always dash. Yes, this is number three. I always, always enjoy. Yes, I always enjoy books about pirates and I, I am. Yes, I am enjoying. I am enjoying the one I am reading now. Number four, she dash English very well, and that is what she now now speak is given. She speaks. She speaks English very well, and that is why she is speaking. She is speaking now. Number five, he often home at this time and he dash home now. He often goes. Very easy, dear students. I think now you understood. Goes and he is going. Very good. He is going now. Number six, we often dash to the seaside and we dash there now. We often go because there are we, not singular. People. We go and we are going. Yes, we are going. Number seven, he usually dash well and he dash well now he usually plays yes he plays uh, well and he is playing yes he is playing well 
now good dear students number 8 my mother always dash coffee and she dash coffee now now drink is given drinks my mother drinks my mother always drinks uh, coffee and she is drinking okay uh, coffee now number 9 she often at her aunt's house and she dash there now now stays given in the word she often stays a s t a y s yes stays at her aunt's house and she is staying very good she is staying now good and then dear students they always dash out the question and they dash out the question now they always now right is given they always write because this is they they always write and they are writing they are writing question Uh, writing out the question now right so dear students uh, exercise c is completed about the written exercise now we will move to the uh, useful words and phrases useful words and phrases okay so what we have to do dear students here in useful words and phrases here look over there dear students a composition is given uh, write 20 sentence saying what do you do every day you might begin i get up at 6:30 every morning and have my breakfast and i go to school and what now here dear students what how many sentence you have to write 20 sentence i'm going to underline the how many sentence you have to write this is kind of you can say uh, dear students english homework because it's a uh, thursday today is thursday so we have a homework so english this is i'm going to underline yes how many sentence you have to write dear students 20 yes from here 20 sentences this is homework dear students i will write for you people over here composition homework is a composition here i am going to write yes homework okay homework uh, again i am writing here homework what is homework composition how many sentence you have to write dear students 20 sentence in 20 sentence what you have to do you have to write about your daily routine how you usually spend your day like i get up at 6:30 every morning and have a breakfast and again i go to school and now attend my class attend the assembly like this so what what does he or what where do you are like this so this is your homework dear students you must write these 20 sentences and send it to me okay now we are going to move to the useful words and phrases have a look useful words and phrases what does he and where do you like this exercise here are 10 answers to questions how many 10 answers to questions write a question for each one the first one has been done for you now what we have to do dear students over here it is actually uh, what we have to do here you have to do dear students to write the answers what you have to do write the answers you have to write the answers like uh, for example they will uh, give you the uh, sentences and you have to write the questions like my father works in an office my father works in an office now this is answer now how will be the question of this answer okay for example what does your father do if someone is asking you like this what does your father do what you will do you will answer like my father works in an office so answers are given over here and you have to write the questions of these answers so let's see we will do over here okay we will do here number 2 is there my mother looks after the home my mother looks after the home what does your mother do very easy what does your mother do question is given what does your mother do number 3 our teacher tells us stories our teacher tells us stories what will what does your teacher do yes what does your teacher do number 4 i read the book in the evenings i read the book in the evenings so dear students uh, i will write you are supposed to understand because uh, they are the very mixed uh, writings okay 
so here i am going to write uh, i read a book in the evening so what will be what what do you do in the evenings what do what do you do in the evenings what do you do in the evenings so this is uh, uh, questions you have to make number 5 what is number 4 i live in multan very easy if you will answer i live in multan how will you make the question of this answer like where do you live yes where do you live where do you live you will say i live in multan number 6 i keep my books in my desk i keep my books in my desk where do you keep your books okay or if another question what do you keep in your desk i keep my books in my desk so two can where do you keep your books yes where do you keep your books where do you keep your books okay number 7 we go home at 9 o'clock so this is question when do you go home when do you go home very good very good number 8 my father comes home at 6 o'clock my father comes home at 6 o'clock so what will be when does your father come home when does your father when does your father when does your father come home question mark so here dear students you can see that they are giving over the sentence number 9 please people sleep at night people sleep at night what do people do at night yes what do people what do people do at night very good obviously people sleep at night and the last i go for a swim on saturday i go for a swim on saturday so what will when or you can say uh, when do you go for a swim you will answer i go for a swim on saturday or what do you do on saturdays i go for a swim on saturdays two questions can be fit over here for i'm going to what do you do okay what do you do on saturdays okay saturdays so question is given uh, i go for swim on saturday so dear students uh, useful words and phrases are done over here i wanted to repeat again the homework the what is the homework homework is a composition write 20 sentence saying what you do every day uh, you might begin with i get up at 6:30 every morning and have my breakfast i go to school like this so dear students uh, page number 57 it's the last page of the lesson and we completed the lesson uh, lesson number 10 and uh, uh, inshallah uh, we will move uh, for the next lesson dear students so dear students uh, this is uh, totally end of the lesson and uh, end of the lecture as well so see you in next lecture uh, you please take care and uh, inshallah uh, we will see you till that allah hafiz